Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome to our third update as we build the 1960s Batcave. The main build in these bags was the room in Wayne Manor, where, you know, Bruce Wayne sits around until he gets the call from Commissioner Gordon on the red bat phone, and of course then after he gets that call, he lifts up the statue's bust and then pushes the button that will move the bookcase to reveal the poles that slide down to the Batcave. And you know, for such a small room, they really did a great job of, of packing in the detail. So, you know, of course we have this bus that you just saw me move, and we have the moving bookshelf, which is really cool because it reveals the poles. You know, I wish those poles went all the way down to the Batcave, but you heard that gripe in the uh, last update. But other cool features are this globe here. Now the globe actually spins, which is a nice effect. Um, we have some trophies here because, you know, Bruce Wayne was a very accomplished in everything that he did. So, of course, he's got trophies. And these will be portraits of uh, his parents, but I don't put the decals on until I do a fast build. And they've got these cool, like, old school lamps and, you know, what, you know, bookshelf and mantle would be complete without your, you know, your fish that you caught from your sports fishing. And um, other cool features in this little tiny area is, of course, the desk where, you know, he writes his big, large checks. And, you know, today's world, those would be billions dollar checks, but this is 1960s, so they're probably, you know, million dollar checks. And um, the other really cool feature that I like about this room in particular is how you build those bookshelves. All these are just little tile and jumper plates um, to create the book effect, and I love that technique in building, so I'm probably going to use that in the future. We also finished off the roof of Wayne Manor, and uh, you know, one little thing is they give this little cat here. He's not attached to anything, but he's just a nice little figure to be prowling on top of the Wayne Manor. And you know, of course, it's 1960s, so we've got a nice little old school TV antenna because we didn't have fiber optic cables back then. And um, of course, you have some lattice work here for the top grading because it's a very fancy mansion. What I really love are these parrot like gargoyle statues they're you know they're they're nothing special but they're just a really cool little feature that gives the building more life there was also some rock work done on the sides of the bat cave where the poles come down to give it just a, a little better look and finished look as they slide down the pole from the front of course, since we built the interior of Wayne Manor, we get to have our three heroes in their civvies. And let's start with, you know, Adam West's Bruce Wayne. And here you've got his very dapper outfit, the blue suit, the button-down shirt, and the ascot tied around his neck. And, you know, uh, his face here has got two expressions. We have this great Scott look. What's going on? And, um, of course, I'm going to turn around so you can see that kind of well-groomed brown hair. And I'm going to take off that hair piece so you can see a second expression, which is just kind of like a more neutral, little smirk on his face. Like, hmm, I know what's going on. Yes, I am Batman, but you don't know that. And now we're going to go to Burt Ward's Dick Grayson's uh, character. And um, here he's got that, you know, very uh, identifiable red shirt, blue pants, collared shirt underneath, and of course also well-groomed black hair. And here we've got his holy guacamole Batman expression on his face. And his second expression is, you know, much like Bruce Wayne's, where it's just kind of a little smirk, you know, I know what's going on. And the reason I say it's kind of interesting is because if you look at these side by side, the faces are almost identical. In fact, the only way I could tell them apart was Burt Ward's character has this little raised eyebrow over there. And, you know, it's kind of cool because in reality now, you have four expressions on these minifigure faces that you can switch around for different mocks and stop motion videos. So, you know, that way, even though we've got two characters do two faces, we actually have four expressions. So I like that, the fact that they are almost the same looking character uh, face. Now let's get to our much different looking character, Alfred, the trusty butler Alfred, who's been played by so many characters and so many actors. Um, but I've always had a, a special place in my heart with this Alfred, the older gentleman with the with the little gray mustache, you know, very thin because our, our mustaches get a little thinner as we get older and we lose hair, but he's got a very full set of hair. I love that white full set of hair he has and the spectacles. And of course, he's got, a you know, his butler black suit with handkerchief because he is a very proper butler who buttles. I love buttles ever since Clue. And I'll just turn him around so you can see his second expression because he also gets a second expression. And this one's just a more happy expression. You know, the first one's neutral and here he's got a little smile on his face. So it's always good to see a happy Alfred. 
We only got a few extra pieces this round, but hey, I'll take any extra pieces when I can get them. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and you can click on the image to watch another video. Until next time, let's keep building together.